Hello guys, DJ Aaron here. I kind of took the liking to ripping in iTunes. And here, here's the reason why. iTunes does MPEG-4 audio, which is AAC, Apple Audio Kodak, um, which is a propri proprietary... Um, which is a proprietary... Um, audio format that Apple uses which can also be read in Windows when you think about it um, the difference the difference is is like night and day when you think about it you know you're ripping a CD in Windows at the standard MPEG-3 format which is you know the standard uh, Redbook MP3 um, you're very limited to your audio quality as far as, you know, how, how it is ripped, etc. With, um, M4A, you have, uh, basically none of that, really. You're not, Let's just say you're not uh, going by almost compressed audio. Well, in an M4A format, you have less artifacts. So I'm ripping a CD with less artifacts. The lower you go, yes, you're going to get artifacts because, you know, from 128 to uh, whatever bit rates at a lower standard you're going to get artifacts so why did i make the jump from mp3 to mpeg4 well you know times are changing the old mp3 yes it's a usable format but you got you got to think about quality especially when you're doing a show or a type of radio show where you're using an audio mixer and it's going through uh, the computer back out to the encoder your encoder will encode an mp3 format anyways so what you're encoding you're actually losing quite a bit of audio quality now I pretty much kind of favor mpeg4 format over uh, M MPEG-3 format because for one, you're getting a higher quality and two, you're, uh, you're, you're pretty much getting, you know, pretty much getting what's recommended uh, f with, uh, you know, the Apple proprietary uh, Kodak. And of course, you know, this format is pretty much readable on all platforms as long as you have of uh, pretty much as long as you have an mpeg uh three or four shit <laughs> trying to get the uh cd case open there um you're pretty much not limited as far as uh grab the next cd here which should be uh dave matthews band um you're not limited to what you can do so there is quite a bit debate the uh, i can barely talk today there is quite of a debate going on about mpeg4 or mpeg3 uh, which one is better when in reality you get a variable bit rate off of uh, MPEG-4 while MP3 is locked at a consistent bit rate it always has been since uh, the late 90s um, MPEG-4 is not I, I, I will say is not a consistent bit rate it moves at a variable bit rate so 
if you encode at a higher bit rate, let's just say uh, 320, your bit rate does not stay at 320. It, it goes somewhere in the range of 375 to 400 kilobytes per second. But the quality is very high quality. It's, it's not... Uh, it's not dead like an mp3 so you know as I'm ripping the CD right now I'm getting a higher bit rate coming out of this so you, you're not you're not gonna notice any artifacts I mean unless you are messing around with surround sound and stuff like that uh, the artifacts are very minimal. Very, very minimal. Um, I would actually literally have to say it is very minimal. Um, I haven't really had any issues. Look at all the CDs I ripped so far. This is my whole entire collection. And there's some behind that. But the Mac is just buried in CDs so you know there really isn't much of a debate between the two formats only because you know one format is a higher bit rate than the other the other format is pretty much that format so I'm getting the next CD ready here after I take this one out because Dave Matthews is almost done. So I'm ripping Dave Matthews Band's Crush album, which is a pretty good album. And it pretty much sounds good on any type of format you put at you throw at it because it is pretty good sounding, I would have to say. So you could throw um, any type of quality, depending on how you're ripping it. Now, if I were to rip this in the WAV format, which I have done before, it'd pretty much be a lot more. Okay, that CD is done. So we just put that back in there. The CD is in good condition, by the way. Alright, so... <sighs> the last CD is Dave Matthews Band Every Day. Alright. <sighs> Letting it go in. Alright, so that is Dave Matthews Band Every Day in a... Should I say just a standard case with nothing on it. So let's go ahead and select OK. And we'll select Yes on this. So I just now made it to the final CD out of the whole entire batch. Look at that. Look at that. All completely finished. Completely finished. And now I got to put it all back on the shelf. <laughs> but this goes to show that, you know, ripping CDs is really awesome. So, which one am I going to go for, pretty much? I would go for the MPEG 4. Um, basically, you're still going to get higher quality rips no matter how you put it and uh, you know I I pretty much go for the higher quality rips and then I pretty much just do whatever I want uh, I still got more CDs to rip but they're not going to be uh, that bad um let's see how much uh disk space i'm uh 
taken up already. 886, not much as far as filling this thing up is concerned. So I still got a lot of hard drive space. So yeah, I got a lot of hard drive space. So it'd be a while before I fill this uh, up anytime soon. So yeah, it'd be a while. So hmm. I still got quite a bit of mp3 cds right here to uh throw on the computer it will take a while though but yeah that's all the mp3 cds that i have right there and one of them is a christmas cd so i gotta get that uh on there as well so anyways, guys, I think that will be it for this video. I'm going to take this CD out. And I think that will be it for, for that. All right. Okay. All right. So that CD is now in. All right. Anyways, guys, that will be it for this video. Peace out and practice and enjoy.